Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Descartes, your process automation strategist. In today's video, we are answering a key question every engineer, technician or buyer asks. How do you choose the right pressure sensor? Plus, we will quickly cover the different types of pressure sensors used in industry. So first, let's start with what is pressure sensor. A pressure sensor is the device that sends pressure in gases or liquids and converts it into an electrical signal. It's essential for monitoring, control and safety in all process industries. Now, we will cover common types of pressure sensors. Here are the most common types you will come across. First, let's start with strain gauge. Use this diagram deformation, ideal for static and long-term pressure monitoring. Second is piezoelectric. Generates charge when stressed, based for dynamic high speed pressure changes. And third one is capacitive pressure sensor. Measures pressure via change in capacitance. Despite sensitive, used in low pressure application. And fourth one is optical pressure sensor. Uses light and fiber optics to measure the optical pressure sensor. Good for harsh environments and explosion prone areas. Fifth one is MEMS micro electro mechanical systems. It is very compact and integrated sensor common in HVAC automotive and portable devices. Now we will cover how to choose the right pressure sensor for your application from above all the different parts. Choosing the right sensor depends on your application needs. Ask yourself this question before you buy pressure sensor. First one is, what is the pressure range, low, medium or high pressure range, which one you are going to measure. Second is, static or dynamic pressure. Use strain gauge for constant pressure, piezoelectric for fast changes and spikes. And third one is, what medium are you measuring, gas, liquid or steam? Is it corrosive or dusty? Choose the sensor with the right material compatibility. Fourth question that you need to ask is, what's the temperature environment? For the harsh or hazardous environments, consider optical or drug strain gauge types. Fifth question is, what kind of output do you need? If you need analog output like 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 volt or digital outputs like Modbus or CAN. Sixth one is budget versus accuracy. Strain gauge sensors are generally cost effective with high accuracy where piezoelectric and optical sensors are most expensive used for special tasks. Now we will cover some real world use cases. In water treatment plants, strain gauge sensor monitors pump pressure. Second is engine test bed. Piezoelectric sensor captures high speed combustion pressure. In clean rooms, any MS or capacitive sensor maintains precise air pressure. Remember, your sensor is only as good as its match with the application. Still unsure which one you need to choose, then reach out to our expert team at radicaltechman.com. We will help you to select the best fit for your process. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video.